just obviously I'm bummed out and uh, took some time to decompress and my legs pretty pretty jacked up, you know. Man, man felt like cement. But I, uh, mm. I thought I could really take his movement and and I'd force him to wrestle more, and, and uh, it wasn't the case, you know. He he caught me on the first check, but then I kept I kept kicking, and I don't know, man. The man felt like cement. That's all I got to say. I had to work around my kicks, and uh, I just didn't put it together like I should have. You know, in that state of mind, you're not really you're trying to gather the information, and for him to come across the cage like that is just it's ridiculous, and for them to let him come do that, you know, I don't, I'm not a big fan of how he carries himself. He's a bit fake, uh, so he's not really saying how he feels. You know, I, I am who I am, and uh, like it or hate it, but it is what it is. For, for him, I mean, I heard what he said, and Hawaii's coming after me, and, and I opened my mouth. I said something, but guess what? You know, he's the man who opened his mouth and was talking shit when I had the title, and then he went and gets popped for uh, steroids. So... Yeah, he got he got by that somehow, but fuck off. You know, you know what you're putting in your body. Don't you know? I'm I'm tired of people like this just trying to find loopholes and, and ways around these things. And all these guys, Anderson Silva, Romero, John Jones, these guys know what they're putting in their body. You know, I'm I'm sick of them. Just there's so many loopholes in the sport. You know, if you if you win, you can always find a way around it. Seemingly, uh, I don't know why get a pass in this sport so a lot of guys are getting these passes in it, which I am not a fan of I've always fought clean I've never cheated my way through the sport I've done everything the right way and uh, you know, I've, unfortunately I've, I've not, a, not everybody follows that path Mr. Michael Bisming opened his mouth and say that he was willing to fight me at 205, 85 or anywhere and you know that's a fight that if it's on the table, I'm going to have to jump that to the front of the line before I do anything else. So um, if he can uh, back up what he just has said, I, I'll be very willing to take that fight anywhere, anytime. That obviously where I'm permitted to fight. But I have a, I have a little time, a little break I need to take about, but I, they say I should be cleared by, I'd say, International Fight Week, early summer. Something like that sounds about right. It's a good retirement stage for, for Bisbing, and uh, it's a good good return for me. So why don't we do this thing in style, and let's sign on the dotted line. I know this is a this is a fight that the UFC is pursuing. So we'll see we'll see we'll see if Bisbing can uh, can back up his mouth once again. Let's make it a little more intriguing. Let's let's bring it to 205.